In this video, we are going to build this marble top coffee table. We have been using this IKEA coffee table for a long time now. It's pretty much worn out, has lots of scratches, some discoloration and definitely boring to look at. The design is really simple. 2 inch thick marble top and the A frame legs made out of 2x2s connected by stretches. Oh yeah, I repurposed our old IKEA tabletop because a 2 inch thick tabletop made out of MDF or plywood is going to be very heavy. We wanted our coffee table to be lightweight so that it's easy to move while vacuuming the rug or cleaning the floor. This IKEA top is perfect for that and saves money too. We're gonna start with prepping the top for epoxy pour. It's very important to sand down the melamine finish on this IKEA top because epoxy does not bind well with melamine. Like I mentioned before, this top also has few scratches on it. Sanding it will even out these scratches and makes it receivable for further finish. I wiped the dust off and moved indoors for the next step. Before the resin process, we need to seal these exposed porous surfaces. So I did two coats of primer and one coat of white paint. Oh, on the underside, I just did one coat of primer. Now comes the tricky part, the resin pour. I was pretty nervous cause it was the middle of winter and resin doesn't do well in cold temperatures. So I turned on the room heater and let the resin sit near it. Waited for the room temperature to rise approximately 75 degrees and started mixing the resin. I mixed approximately 3 quarts of resin in total. Split that into 1.5 quart for clear, 1 quart for plain white acrylic and small portions for gold, pearl white and glittery white with a pink undertone. Before starting the pour, I raised the surface and made sure it's level on all sides. Then I poured white and clear resin and spread it all around. Next, I added gold veins and spread it along the direction of the vein. Then pour pearl white and glittery white along the gold veins and any other places I felt like adding. I played around a little bit and also spread the resin on sides. Every now and then I would pop the resin bubble with heat gun and worked on it until I'm satisfied with the pattern.
remember that you only get about 10 to 15 minutes work window depending upon the resin and the room temperature. For some reason mine started to cure even more quickly and the last spring of resin that I poured on one side did not merge well. Applying heat did not work either. So I just stopped and let it cure. The epoxy has cured now and the patterns look very pretty with glittery undertone. Except this. Remember the last spring of epoxy I poured? Like I expected it did not level and ended up having bumpy veins. But don't worry, I can fix this. I took the top back to workshop and sanded with 120 grit sandpaper on the uneven surface to level it out. Then sanded the whole top with 320 grit sandpaper. Here I am doing the same process again, this time with 1.5 quad clear resin. Now comes the second part of this project, building the legs. I cut 2x2s two to required lens at 15 degree angle. Then assemble those to make two A-frame legs. I pre-drilled and used two wood screws for each joint. Next, we gotta add these two stretches to connect the A-frames. I cut 1x3s to length and mark the angle that needs to be trimmed off on both sides. Then I made the pocket holes on both sides of the stretchers and connected it with the legs. Sealed the screw holes with wood plugs and added putty to fill all the gaps. Once dry, sanded the whole piece with 220 grit sandpaper. Finally, I finished the legs with this clear wax. By this time, the top had also cured. Just need to fix them together with some construction adhesive. All done. White and gold epoxy marble coffee table. We have more DIY projects on the way, so stay tuned. Thank you for watching, see you in the next video.